Well, look who's back here. You're here again. Welcome to Night Sounds. Welcome back to the program. You're listening across the entire Night Sounds radio network. K Tahoe in South Lake Tahoe. Also, KEBF Morro Bay, KZSR Paso Robles. It's the Rock Community Radio. And streaming online everywhere at Night Sounds Radio. Here I am, Barry Funkhauser from Camarillo from Los Angeles. There she is, a singer-songwriter with a knack for creating smoky, smoky, sultry, bluesy rock. The always incredible Devin Thompson is with us tonight. Hi guys. Thank you so much for having me back. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for being there. And now we go to Encino, a longtime LA radio producer and an absolute monster on the bowling <laughs> lane. Here she is, Michelle Parisi's back on night. Hey, hey what's up, everybody. Michelle? Happy to be here representing the 818. <laughs> and as always, there he is running up the 101 to hide in his closet in Sherman Oaks. The sometimes optimistic, but usually fan, fan, fantalistic. Fa- fa- fatalistic? My, is that the word you're trying to use? Fatalistic. fatalistic. <laughs> the Abbott to my Costello. There he is, Joe's on the program tonight. Hi, guys. Thanks for showing up. This is so fun. Oh, first show of the new year. Really? I'm so rusty, man. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Then you, tell. Had, you had too good of a holiday. Oh, yeah. God, no. Yeah, no. I was just on ice for a while. But uh, tonight's topic is going to be 2024, a new beginning or the end of the world. Every year, same thing. <laughs> Every year, the same thing. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's get into the new, the first story of the night. It's beginning to look a lot like spring. Uh, there's a mild winter forecast going down. So take a look at this real quick. Listen. Oh, Want to know what you can expect from the weather as we start the new year? Well, a more mild winter for some. Our latest outlook shows January could bring warmer than average temperatures across much of the Midwest, Plain States, and Western U.S. If you live somewhere between Wisconsin and Montana, chances are you might not need as many layers when you're bundling up this winter. But don't pack away that heavy coat just yet. You could still need it later in the month, as some models are showing a cold snap is possible. We're watching Central Texas through Florida and parts of the Carolinas for those extra cool temperatures. And if the cold doesn't get you, it might be the rain. The southeast could have a particularly wet month thanks to El Nino, while the center of the country is less likely to see as much precipitation. So uh, let me ask you, Devin Thompson, since you've been on the road touring, playing music, does the winter 40 degree weather change your wardrobe a little when you're out there? <laughs> um, You know, not really. <laughs> like, I have to say that I kind of, if I'm playing a show, I just brave it. Like, I just, I just put on what I'm doing. I'll wear a jacket. But usually I wear I wear like ruffle shorts like I don't I don't know what they're really called like bloomers type things like a lot for shows so um, I just wear that and like a little top and it's cold but I'm not outside a lot so like you know you're inside uh, or yeah. in the car van so it's not that bad you know that's like that's what my my buddy is is the same way I'm I'm yeah. exactly the opposite but my buddy's the same way he's like man I'm only gonna be out in the cold for like. 10 seconds from like the time I open my car door to the time I go inside the bar or no, exactly. you know, I'm only going to be from like A to B for like a minute. I don't need a jacket. Then I have to like yeah. take the jacket and take it off. And then I got to remember it from the coat check and then I forget <laughs> it. And I don't know. I'm, I'm an old, so I'm like cold, literally all I'm like freezing literally right now. Right now. <laughs> and I'm inside my house. It's, so. nice out. it's nice out today. I don't know how you're saying that. It's beautiful outside today. <laughs> nice out. It's like 40 mile an hour gusts. Is it really? 50 degrees out. Yes. Oh, I haven't been outside yet. You know, maybe <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's a challenging one. That oh, weather yeah. lady, was that your mom? I don't know. When she showed up, I was like, it looks like mom? it could be your mom. What? Oh, Devin's mom? <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, oh, my mom? <laughs> no, the weather oh. lady looked like she could be your mom. I was like, I, we kind of I, I actually day. don't know who she is, but I recognize her face. Like she, lo- I've seen her somewhere. She is not, in fact, my mom. But she's, she's the Weather <laughs> Channel girl. I love her. <laughs> I think that's okay. That's why we were like, I, I have definitely seen her before. Um, and I was like, yeah, that looks, she looks familiar, but not my mother. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fanboy of Kate from the Weather Channel. Not yeah. not in a creepy way, just not in a, a way, she really right. knows her meteorological information. <laughs> um, and I'm really, but okay, so I put this in there because one, now that I am uh, middle-aged, 
weather is totally fascinating to me for some reason and i love to bring it up but i'm also really sad because as a snowboarder mm. um okay like i went out to colorado for thanksgiving and i did some snowboarding but it was literally only the tops of the mountains yeah one or two runs only and yeah. in southern california they're not even open yet it's like they have gotten nothing. almost nothing on the ground and yeah. I'm scared that I'm going to have to go an entire season of El Nino not being able to snowboard because it's just going to like maybe snow a little bit and then it's just going to rain and wash it all away. So what's going to happen to our snowpack? Or we're, see, this is why we're going to die in 2024. We're not going to have any water. I agree with that. Spoiler alert, man. That's the, <laughs> only the beginning of the year. Well, I, apparently in, in northern Minnesota, I heard on the news today, there are dog sled places where you pay and you can ride with the huskies on the back yeah, yeah but there's yeah. no snow so those businesses are like these little mom and pop shops and they're not they got no that. customers they got to feed the dogs they got to take the dogs to the vet they don't have money it's like a thing i'm like this is not good and then the local bars where they go after they're not having customers so the snow is affecting the dogs and the drinking so yeah. or the lack of snow too warm up there, like way, you know, tippy toppy Minnesota, like where you don't even want to be half the time. But no, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe, but there are huskies like dying almost. Okay, they're starving. <laughs> well, my there. snowboarding doesn't matter you know? because there are dogs dying in Minnesota. Dying. I understand. Hey, well, you know, they, they changed the farmer's almanac this year for the first time in like 500 years or something, you know, the oldest oh, yeah. book out there. I looked up when they started that thing, it's like 1780. This is when they started oh, the farmers really? almanac that's, or something. That's, actually yeah. like, that's not as far back as I thought. I thought it would oh, be. Oh man, better. things are changing. You know what else is changing here in California? You guys is laws. You know, at the first of the year, <laughs> ah, yeah. there's always a handful of really weird laws that come out. So let me show you guys the uh, if I can figure this out how to what the new laws are in the state of California. All other states pay no attention. Well, the new year has <laughs> laws, and there are several that are going into effect here in California. Some have to do with work. So starting Monday, employers cannot discriminate against employees or job applicants based on marijuana use. The number of mandatory paid oh. sick days will also increase from three days to five. And another new law tackles the growing problem of fentanyl abuse. A former prosecutor joined KCAL News Mornings to explain. It finally is going to be classified in the same way as cocaine or heroin. So what that means is if a defendant is convicted of selling uh, a kilo of fentanyl, then their punishment is going to be increased by at least three years. And it'll go substantially up as they sell more amounts. And that's really important. It's an important deterrent in stopping fentanyl deaths. Well, also on Monday, AB 663 takes effect. It will allow mobile pharmacies to carry and dispense certain controlled substances that the FDA has approved for opioid use disorder. Supporters hope that this will reduce the number of drug-related deaths on California streets. So there you go. Wow. Oh, uh, that's kind of some uh, dark, deep laws, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. needed, I guess. I you guess know. it's definitely needed, yeah. Definitely. I guess they can't get you anymore for smoking the doobie on the job, huh? Well, they, don't, they don't care about that so much. I mean, no, I mean, unless it unless it's like you're you're really about to hurt someone. Like, I don't want the dudes at Home Depot smoking joints and then like going in and like driving around forklifts. Yeah, you know? it, it, it happens a lot. Yeah, <laughs> no, it does happen a lot. Here, here, but oh, but here's the thing. Here's something I actually wanted to ask Devin. Um, yeah. Because you've been doing music for so yeah. long. Have you actually had like a job job? Have you like worked in <laughs> like fast food or like Starbucks or anything? Like, I don't even know. All I know is that like, you've just been doing music since you were like below like yay high. A so. child. Yeah. yeah. I have definitely had <laughs> like real jobs music you don't sound really jobs. enthusiastic about it <laughs> no and no one i have only had retail and also technically fast food jobs yeah okay. I have. And they all were in a span of two to three years i wasn't able to keep them for very long but like pretty much i worked at um two skate snowboard shops um yeah we which, talked about this before your favorite one joe remember oh uh, yeah that's right you worked at bell surf yeah. that's right oh, bell surf totally is forgot. iconic who's yeah, the I, one that can't remember is it you or yeah. me i think it was me but now it's you i worked at bell surf for a little bit active and then i worked also at 
a girls clothing store that I'm not going to name because I don't want to start any issues. But yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, nope. time of my life. And I also worked at Baskin Robbins, which which made me realize that I hate <laughs> working with people. I hate people. <laughs> I don't hate people. I hate the customer <laughs> service industry and how people behind the counter get treated. And mm -hmm. literally like less like the incompetence of like of, of human just like of intelligence. Like there are, are lots of of mean people and lots of idiots out there. And working as an ice literally like an ice cream server, I it was the most miserable I've ever been. <laughs> ever. I had that job. It was terrible. It was terrible. Oh. Oh, was well, like, it, it, like, terrible. it lines up with my life philosophy of people are inherently stupid. Yeah, so. people are inherently stupid. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that. They are. Okay, but yeah, here's the other thing. Okay, so you worked a lot of uh, retail jobs, fast food stuff. I know Michelle yeah. and Barry and I, we've all worked a bunch of jobs like that. So yeah. another one of the laws that's coming up around California is uh, increasing minimum wage in different God, places. Yeah, we need that. You know, so what's your overall take? Like everybody, what's your what's your overall take on that? Because mine's a little bit more nuanced. I think that it works in places like San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco, but man, can can the mom and pop in like Bakersfield survive paying everyone twenty bucks an hour? I don't think so. I, I'm not a business owner, so I don't have a take on You this. are absolutely a business owner. What are you talking about? I don't have employees. We just we just had a business meeting today, and you <laughs> do have employees. I'm one of them. <laughs> Joe, you're going to make $20 an hour. Aren't you excited? Oh, I'm great. so excited. <laughs> What's going on here? Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. <laughs> He's there, know, yeah, we're, 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 we're getting you into a corner, so you pay me more. Um, uh, no, uh, uh, independent contracting is totally different outside the totally laws different. of like minimum wage jobs and stuff like that. So that don't worry, Barry, you can still pay me nothing. It's uh, going to be fun. thank goodness. Oh. I know, right. <laughs> but really, like, what face. do you guys think? Like Michelle, what do you think? Um, I think the fact that you serve them ice cream, they should have been happier. Let's just start with that. You're giving <laughs> them awesome. ice cream. They should have been, thank you so much. I love no. ice cream. So they're, no. that's, that sucks. And not I, nice. I treat people to bowling and sometimes they're not nice. So that's just people. People kind of suck. That's just less. There's a certain percentage of sucky people in the world. Um, there are minimum wage. OK, if you're if you have four part time. OK, let's say you make that your employees make so much per shift and now they're going from 16 to 20. Guess what? They're all going to get a four hour shift. It's not going to change. You're going to suddenly get more money. They're just going to cut your shifts. Duh. You know, or they're going to figure out a robot or they're going to say, hey, Barry, you're going to do Johnny's job. And then Johnny's going to be sorry, Johnny, uh, blah, blah, blah. And Johnny's out. And then there's then they're down. They got two people. Uh, See, they're, they're, uh, I don't uh, think that or or the or gosh, we got to raise everybody four bucks an hour. Guess how much your food's going to cost. Yeah, <laughs> well, everything well, else. Yeah. It's not just Absolutely. you don't just magically take a cut to profits to pay for this. No one's gonna well, do that. That's why everybody's mad when Devin's serving them ice cream because they're paying twelve dollars a scoop now. <laughs> it's so expensive. It's so expensive. Like Baskin Robbins it used to be cheap, and like even like look at McDonald's. Like that used to be the cheapest place to go get food, and like now it's not cheap. So no. it's crazy. I think if you cut down, if you cut down, like if you raise prices and for minimum wage like if you do 16 to 20 an hour like minimum wage was never meant to be a sustainable job it was meant to be like a like a for now thing to get your you know degree or whatever to get your certification and whatnot to get a you know a profession or a skill um and it's some people don't have access to that some people don't have access to the to the never ending bills of education and of debt student debt is ridiculous i think that if you start paying people more which we need to be anyways but these 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 i like to call them corporate america jobs because these are all like all of like chick-fil-a or everything that donates to the government or donates to certain funds they have so much money they have so much money it's unbelievable how much money if they have money to donate to causes like that they have money to pay their employees and also keep prices i mean you're never going to be able to battle inflation with with paying people more because it doesn't matter if they even have an excess like amount of money to keep prices down for that's just not how it works i feel like there's a medium in 
I feel like shorter shifts is better. We need shorter shifts. There's no work-life balance when you're working for $16 an hour, 40 hours a week. So there needs to be like, uh, there needs to be some sort of relief some way, but like, it's going to be hard to just raise them all of a sudden like that, but we need, there needs to be a way to do it. Well, yeah. it's like Michelle, I think it's like Michelle said, it's like, um, just like with healthcare when they mandated like, yeah. oh, every full-time person now has to have healthcare. Yeah. Guess what happened? They just cut everybody to part-time yeah. problem solved, right? Problem solved. So yeah. I, yeah. I think it's just going to depend on like the community yeah. and if it's sustainable, in that community, the one it's, size fits all thing doesn't really doesn't work. work. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. So but then you have to look you at know? it also real quick. If someone is, is valued at, hey, you're making 20 an hour, there is a chance that those people might step it up a little and go, this isn't just some willy nilly dumb, 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 yeah. ass job, you know, they might That's be like, true. I'm actually getting paid okay money. I'm going to, I'm going to kick some ass instead of just go through the motions, you know? That actually makes sense. I, so there's that I, side I of not, it. Is, not the as person's gonna, is their integrity going to go up as an employee realizing? I am not as optimistic about humanity as you are, Michelle. Okay, well, I'm not right. side, you know? <laughs> I just want more hours in the day so I can go see Devin Thompson play after I get off work. Is yeah. that too yeah. much That's to ask? Great. January That's 10th not. is your next show, right? January yeah. 10th. 10th is my next show. We found new music at Hotel Z in California. No, in LA. Jeez. Um, I was just in Utah yesterday, so like my... And my perception's off. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited to play that. I've never played this event before with, with like, I've never done this before. So this is so awesome. And I'm really excited to to be playing with all these awesome, cool people. Well, I'm going to ask you more about that date and more dates and music after we play your latest song. Now, you have a song coming out in like a week or so. Yeah. But uh, let's play the one we played. Uh, wait, which one are we going to play today? Napoleon? I'm so oh, Napoleon. Napoleon. Sorry, Napoleon. Is, isn't that Napoleon. like ice cream? I mean, isn't it? Napoleon? <laughs> that's What's Neapolitan. Oh. <laughs> it's not the same thing. <laughs> However, I would draw that conclusion too. I don't know. I would do it. Mm -hmm. That's what he had in his shirt, Napoleon, right there. Yeah. He just had ice cream. He had a, yeah. was, he was holding out his ice cream in his yeah. mouth. Right let's then. play let's play some Devin Thompson now get a little taste of Devin Thompson music here is Napoleon, Napoleon. <laughs> on nice sounds 